it's raining. God. We're getting ready for to go. The hell with the rain. We got 920i, 720i. Going in the rice burner. Hello. I borrowed Denny's picture. Benny, Denny's scoop. So I could take a picture of the three. For my review. I gotta get inside before I get wet. Wet soup's warming up. Battery. Done. Big O Jack. Cave Energy. Barge. Oatmeal, whatever you call it. We're putting in just east of the cave today. The cave's right over there. We're going to work that way. You can see the tide's getting off good. That one bar's already dried out right there. Should be just like yesterday. Other than it's supposed to be 50, but it's overcast and light sprinkly. I got my, I didn't wear my dry top today. I just wore a regular raincoat and a sweatshirt. Stand by, we're inbound. Got the gorilla scoop today. The new gorilla. That's what Chuck calls it. The guy that makes it calls it the gorilla scoop. Made for everyday hunting gorillas, he said. <laughs> Six inch coal. Here we go. 12, 16, solid. First target, 12, 16. I don't see no 12-16. Oh yeah, I do. You see it right there? Full tab, full tab. Finally got it out of my scoop anyway. Now we got a 1227. Solid 1227. Nothing's very deep around here usually. I don't see no 1227s. So I don't see any kind of 12 or anything. Uh, might be a big piece of aluminum. I see something odd looking here. See if that's it or not. No. Nope. Must have been small and fell through. Stand by. Well, we're heading to, towards the cave now. Over there where Denny found his ring yesterday. These are what we call the twin pipes.
You know, it looked bad over there. All that stuff was there yesterday is gone. Yeah. Sanded it in on top of it already. Some rocks there. Some kind of brass. Yeah. Brass or copper pipe fitting. Yeah. yeah. Scrap. That's good scrap right there. Well, I can tell you one thing, this side looks better already. It's funny how one place will be different than the other. Look, rocks everywhere. Look at that big piece of con uh, block thing. I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> it's like a half a building. I thought, stand by, we got a ticket here, a target or something. Let's see what this is. It's scratchy, but it's got a low sound mixed in with it. We got it, whatever it was. If it didn't fall through. Now if you notice Denny's nut yesterday, he saved all his 22s. After he fell through a Moscow, but I didn't look for them no more. But I probably found as many as he did. So he might have found some of the ones I found and let go. Whatever this was, what fell through, because there's nothing in here making that sound. Yep, there it is right there. Now, I ain't going to chase it, so to hell with it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a big thing. Damn column right there. Look at that. Twelve oh six. Twelve oh six. Twelve oh six is falling through. Right there it is, right there. Let's see if we can save. Okay. I bet you it's a damn twenty two. No, it's worse. It's a piece of damn, a little teeny piece of aluminum. Look at that. You see it? Ha! Chain man told me I was wrong. We came in a pipe too soon. We just we just getting in that spot where all the iron was. You see it starting to show up now. That's where that spoon came from. You just saw. We're just on the edge of all that stuff coming up on us. Let's see how it goes. I got a what's it of some sort. There it goes. That ain't got a silver quarter. I yeah, scratched it on the thing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh... Cool. Got to go find my other ticket now. If I can get this thing to shut off. Maybe an old pocket knife. I don't know. It looks like a pocket knife. Sounded good. 
I don't know what it is. Stand by. Twelve oh six. I switched scoops. I let Danny drive the, the big Brutus for a few minutes. See how he likes it. I got the uh, 720i now. I don't see no uh, 12.06. I see something odd though. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see if we can find that. And what I thought was a 12.06 fell apart in my hand. Maybe it was some kind of little thing. Oh no, it's still in the hole. Come out of there, baby. It's a light misty rain falling right now. Maybe on the camera lens, I don't know. I'll try to wipe it off. Still no 12.06. I think it must have fell through. You little sucky. I can't even find it. <clears throat> the hell with it. Let's see how the chain man's making out over here. Give him back this scoop. How you making that now? I got a mercury dime. Mercury dime? Yeah. Damn, you're hot as a it's poop. It's all white, you know. It, yeah. I knew it right away. I can see the lady on it. Here you go. This thing goes in the sand good. It goes good in the sand. This it's, is the night. It, it works like, good. It goes in the sand good. Yeah. It's starting to rain a little bit now. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to put my hood up. 1208. 1208. I'm out of there, 1208. Where are you? I don't see no 1208. I don't see any 12s of any kind. Especially 08, maybe. I might see it now. No, I don't think so. Let's go back over the hole here. Maybe it fell out. Yeah, there it is, right there. My curiosity is up now. See if we can save it. I don't know that scoop we didn't save it. Come out of there, Tiquito. Maybe this ain't it. Maybe this is another ticket. Oh, nice block. Whatever it is, we got it. If it didn't fall through again. Well, 
afraid it fell through again though. Ha! I hate that. Yep, there it is right there. Up the beach we go again. Well, we got it this time. I can tell you it's not a 10 karat gold ring. That's what I can tell you. But I can't tell you what it is because I can't find it. Aha! Uh -huh. There that little strop it is. 22. to the cave. We'll see how it goes in here for a while. Its conditions have deteriorated. It's uh, raining. Well, it's not heavy. It's just a heavy mist rain. You can probably see what it looks like. Okay. Stand by for the cave. Get ready for the roundup. One of my YouTubers. Subscriber is a guy named Stan Bertram. I hope I said that right, Bertram. Bertram wanted to know about the camera setup I use. Well, nothing special. It's a go. It's a GoPro chest mount. I have a GoPro, but I'm not too keen on it. I mean, it works okay. That part's okay, but I just don't like the waterproof case, and you can't get the sound. You know what I mean? It's not. Uh, mm, I don't know how to put it. So I've got a waterproof Kodak camera called a ZX5. You have to buy this little gizmo right here. You can buy it on eBay, you can buy it from GoPro, you can buy it from anybody. It just screws into here and it's female thread. So you have to come up with a, this is a stainless steel boat, bolt, I just cut that off. Or you could find some stainless rod if you can find it, you know, all three rod if you can make if they make it. I'm not sure, but I just cut the head off the bolt, sanded it down a little so it would screw into the bottom, and of course I screwed the top into the the other end into the camera. All cameras got a a tripod mount, threaded female doodad thing. I got it as close as I could, and then I used this piece, this nut right here, to tighten it up and to center it on the thing as it sits on your shoe on your chest like this and you just tilt this wherever your target is and turn the bad boy on with these new gloves now these damn mitten gloves they're so seven millimeter I can't get it to work worth a damn I have to add this is what I use because I just happen to have it it was handy it's a long line snap for sword fishing it goes on a long line and the hook would go on this and that's what they caught the swordfish on they use them for the buoys to drop the line under the water a certain depth and then they use this for the leaders for the shark for the bait to go on in the fish hopefully and it snaps right off the line like that well I don't use it for that now but I used to now I use this end right here most of the time to reach up here <laughs> and turn the camera on and off since I got them gloves on I have to you have to turn it on here so I turn it on up there like this. Push this, push the button on, and I come right here and I push it. That turns the video on. And if I want to use the camera, that turns the camera on. But that's all it is is a GoPro chest mount. Twenty, thirty bucks. I don't know what it costs, but it's got. It's nice. They make them for your head too, but 
can't see where the camera is. That wouldn't work for me. Okay, that's it. Stan, my friend. Good luck to you. Well, here's the roundup. Bleak for me. I got what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? You know, what's it? You saw this one. You saw, oh, look, well, you didn't see this one. You saw this one here, it looks like a knife. I, th I showed you, I think I showed you this, you can see, of course, that's a spoon. And I don't think I showed you this big spoon. That's a teaspoon, I mean, a, a tablespoon. And that's about all I got, a 22, a nickel. I don't even know what year the nickel is. I just know it's a nickel. I mean, Jefferson nickel, you know. Two pieces of gray matter. Piece of wire, maybe, I don't know. Copper, a bullet. And I guess that's a fuse of some sort. I know it's sadly good. Fell through twice. I don't know how many uh, that little teeny washer sounded really good. I got no clue what this is. Oh, I did get a penny too. I was on a Klondike. What else am I going to tell you? Oh, I got this little teeny thing. That fell through 63 times. That stuff fell in the sink. Too bad. Uh, where were we? Well, you know, that's not a bullet. I thought that was a bullet. That's a little teeny sinker. I just looked at it better when I got the stuff off it. A little sinker. So I got three pieces of gray matter. I cracked in watches tomorrow. It's raining the damn brake batch right now. Got worse as we started home. Okay. See you uh, tomorrow. It's supposed to be one forecast says a high 60s, one says a 70s. Good. Googa mooga. I don't know where we're going, but someplace. Surf Church. Good luck to you.